something that the objective of the multinational joint tax force is achieved. So this is how uh, what we do, and that's how, how we organize. How the rotation of the countries are going in the organization of MNJTF? The personnel of the multinational joint tax force, both officers and soldiers, at the headquarter and those at the various sectors are uh, rotated periodically. We have a duration of one year for each and every one of them to serve and then they will be rotated. And the whole essence of that is to ensure that having spent you know, that length of time in the theatre, they are able to return back to their countries and get rejuvenated, reinvigorated, for other assignments and of course to also inject fresh troops that will um, continue from where they stopped so with this arrangement you find that at every point in time we have highly motivated troops troops that um, are well suited are well prepared that have not been unduly fatigued and um, they have the not just physical strength but also the emotional strength to go through the stress of battle uh, during the period of uh, their deployment. So this is how we are. And um, the rotation has been going on. And this is um, also done in such a way that uh, there is no vacuum left and that we don't also have all the troops coming at the same time and uh, becoming new. It is done in such a way that there is an overlap, that you have a sizable number of those older hands and then the new ones who learn from the older ones. So this is how what we have been doing and what has helped us to maintain the strength and character of an effective force that you have been witnessing. <laughs> of the International Joint Task Force. We are in the news of the MNJT. What can you tell us the situation of the Secretary in the lecture basic? The, um, the security situation is um, improving on a daily basis, like I've told you in the past. But of course, there are still a few challenges which we are addressing. Every day we go out on patrols and um, we have encounters in most cases and then, of course, we address those challenges. And um, we are believing that as we continue along this path, that uh, the level of threat will keep reducing and then improving on the level of security, which, of course, will, you know, will pave way for an increment, or if you like, an incremental socioeconomic activities of uh, everyone that live within the Lechard Basin. So far, so good, and we are happy that um, all the support that we require is being given, and that all the understanding that is also required from the populace and other stakeholders is uh, is also being provided. Last weekend, there is an encouragement between the Boko Haram and the Chadian Armed Force. Can you tell us about the role of MNJTF in this part? What MNJTF can tell us information or something to the people? You are right that there was an encounter, but I thought that that um, question should have actually gone to the Chadian National Forces. But of course, you had a role, and you, as I have told you in the past, that the MNJTF will sometimes conduct operations alongside the National Forces. In this case, of course, the encounter that you talked about was led by the Chadian National Forces, of course, with some elements of the sector two of the multinational joint tax force. It was a very uh, successful encounter, successful in the sense that um, you know, a good number of the Boko Haram terrorists were killed, and then, of course, their bases were also destroyed. Uh, even though, of course, there were casualties on that part, but those casualties are limited. The ones that are wounded, of course, they have been stabilized. But I believe that, um, like I told you, it is um, the Chadian National Forces authorities, you know, that will better answer that question. Even though, of course, I have the details, but 
I don't think it's much appropriate for me to be the one to be giving all those reports for an operation that they are leading. We are only also, we are a part of it, but the greater number of the troops engaged in that encounter on the Chadian National Forces. They say that this Boko Haram member have fled to the Nigerian border. Is MNGT ever tracking them over there, or they have to wait for Nigerian forces to track from that side? No, it's not a matter of uh, running and all that. You know, Boko Haram or any threat of that nature, like I've always pointed out, do not have respect for borders. There are equally activities from the other side, in this case, on the Nigerian side, they equally have activities from the Niger side and activities from the Cameroonian side of the multinational joint tax force area of responsibility. So a lot of action has been done. Well, there's nothing like attraction. It is, we are pushing from all sides and then um, eventually you will, um, when we are done with what we are doing, you get more details as to what the outcome is. MNGTF, Multinational Joint Task Force, and the population of the Lecture Basin. Major General Lucky Irabor, Post Commander of the Multinational Joint Task Force.